Tech Legion, and we're going to be taking a look at Lucid Virtue MVP, which is available on all Z77 motherboards. Um, Virtue is MVP, depending on the manufacturer, uh, they will have it or not, but it, it should be supported with the Z77 chipsets. And it works with the new Ivy Ridge processors that uh, have just come out. Basically what Virtue does is it gives you two modes. It gives you either an I mode or a D mode. I mode meaning that you plug your display into your on onboard graphics port on your motherboard. Or D mode meaning that you plug it into your discrete GPU. The benefits of both are if you're using I mode, basically what you're going to do is when you're not playing a video game and your system's on idle, you're going to be using you're going to be saving power. And of course, when you're actually gaming, it will switch over to your discrete video card and you could play with your discrete card. In D mode, the benefit that you're going to get is you're going to be using your discrete card all the time, but if you do a lot of video transcoding or some type of other uh, other things to do with with video, basically what's going to happen is you're going to be able to take advantage of Intel Quick Sync. Uh, which is a very good encode and decode codec uh, that comes with the Ivy Bridge processor and it'll save you a lot of time in transcoding your videos. So basically right now we have it off and I'll go through the uh, interface with you. Of course you can see it says Virtue MV MVP here. We're on the main screen. We have the GPU virtualization which is integrated and discrete. You have an in-game icon where it'll show you that you're using it. I usually keep it off and hide it, but you have three options for that show. Show if you're a few seconds and hide. And of course, this also allows this to show in the, in the system tray. Under performance, we have two different functions. So we'll go ahead and turn it on real quick. Switch to performance. And as you can see, we have high performance and virtual VSync. High performance, basically what that does is, while you're in D mode and you're actually using your discrete video card, what it'll do is it'll offload some of the shaders to the onboard video on the Ivy Bridge processor. So it actually will help increase overall game performance. It'll increase your frame rates a little bit for you. Now the virtual VSync is something else. Um, we're you're, you should be familiar with refresh rates of your monitor, 60 frames, you know, 60 frames per second or 60 megahertz, etc. So basically, what'll happen is, if you ever notice that when you're playing a game, you kind of get a tearing or you get that kind of a stutter, and you have VSync on, what's actually happening is, is the frame rates are dropping below your refresh rate of your monitor, so your monitor is switching its refresh rate which is actually giving you that tearing effect. With the virtual VSync, what it does is, it in, with it enabled, it actually kind of curves that frame per second drop to where you're not going to get that tearing or the artifact or the shutter when the uh, monitor, when the frames actually drop below the monitor's refresh rate. That's some, if you like to have smooth play playing and you're not worried about frames per second this is something that you could definitely take advantage of. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off for now. Now we can go to our applications uh, manager. There's a lot of pre-installed applications here. You could either check them, uncheck them, set them for D mode, I mode, you could add new 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 apps, uh, new games that might not be in here, so they take preference in in what you're doing. So it, it's fairly good. It does have a lot of support for a lot of different games in it, and by manipulating this, it will it will of course enhance your experience while you're gaming. So while we have this on, I'm going to go ahead and turn that down, and we'll bring up. Unigine Heaven 3.0 and we'll turn tessellation on to extreme. We'll set our ANSI trophy to 16x, our anti-aliasing to 4x, 
shut off screen, full screen mode. Set our resolution to 960 by 540. And we're going to go ahead and click run. While we're waiting for that to actually start up, Right. bring that over here we will bring this here we're going to bring up Cyberlink Media Espresso open that I'm going to go ahead and drop in a video it's about 138 megabytes bring that over to the side and we'll start our benchmark now as you can see the benchmark is running we're going to go ahead and transcode this video to a uh, media player, an HTC media player. We'll, we'll convert it to H.264. We're going to enable the hardware acceleration. Now this is QuickSync hardware acceleration. So basically what we're doing right now is we're actually benchmarking our video card, our discrete card, and we're going to go ahead and transcode using the onboard graphics, the parallel processing of the CPU via QuickSync. So once I click OK, it'll bring up our uh, monitor and it'll actually start transcoding the video for us. As you can see, QuickSync is working and we are actually benchmarking our card. So once this finishes, we'll take a look at how long it took to transcode that video. 25 seconds. Very good. That's 130 megabytes. We converted it to H.264 from an MP4. 25 seconds. Now, we'll go ahead, still running this, we'll go ahead and bring up our media player again. We'll shut off our hardware acceleration. Click OK. And now we'll go ahead and convert that. As you can see, it is taking a little bit more time to actually transcode this video. Since we're only using the video card while we're benchmarking. Now it's not to say that you can't do it while you're doing it, but you know you're actually stealing, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul here because you're going to take a disadvantage in your frame rates and you're multitasking on your video card. Well this is actually using the CPU, but what I'm trying to say is if you were using some type of uh, encoding without the quick sync on, this is what's going to happen. So you're actually looking at what the CPU is doing while you're benchmarking the video card. I'm sorry, uh, made a mistake there. But now you can see it took 47 seconds. So that's about double the time that it took when we had Quick Sync on. Now, of course, this is not a very big, big file. So you're, as you get, you saw, we saved half the time on that size file. If we go to a bigger file, we'll be saving even more time by using the Intel Quick Sync. We'll shut that off. We'll bring our benchmark over. As you can see, we're at running about an average of 42 point, 42.7, 42.9 frames per second. Up on the top, we can see what the frames actual at this time are. So Virtue actually does work, and it also, as I said, it gives you that benefit while you're in D mode to use Quick Sync, so you could do some video transcoding while you're doing something else. Um, that's that's one of the biggest uh, biggest pluses of Lucid Virtue, and of course, the gaming aspect. With the MVP, you actually do get the offloading of the shaders onto the CPU's video card, so it helps you out a little bit to increase your performance. So, everyone, this has been our quick look of Lucid Virtue MVP. Thank you, and for the full review, please visit www.hitechlegion.com. Have a great day. Stay thirsty, my friends.
Bye-bye.